Okay, uh, good morning. So my name is uh, Anna Mayhew and uh, I've been the main author on the paper entitled Performance of Upper Limb for Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy. And this is just a very short message from me to tell you a little bit about um, why this paper is important to us at, at, us at this time. So in Duchenne Muscular Dystrophy, we developed the pull 1.2 several years ago now with um, a working group of physiotherapists and uh, medics and uh, the clear involvement of uh, patients and their families. And uh, that first scale, the 1.2, um, proved to be a very useful uh, start in trying to measure motor performance of the upper limb in Duchenne. However, um, on further analysis and by collecting subsequent data, we realised that some of the scoring was a little bit too complex. Uh, that the uh, hierarchy of scoring of items perhaps wasn't capturing disease progression but was actually capturing different strategies performed by the boys and young men. So we um, used um, clinical experience and modern psychometrics and produced the pull uh, version 2. The aim of this paper is to um, reassure everybody using the new scale or the old scale that both scales uh, are psychometrically robust, that they both capture the same construct, construct of motor performance in Duchenne muscular dystrophy uh, uh, arm performance, um, and that most importantly, based on a large data set, that both scales capture progression of Duchenne uh, over a two year period and that is true for both the 1.2 and the 2 and for the different subsets within those scales so for the high dimension, the mid dimension and the distal dimension. So um, enjoy the paper, I hope you find that useful, uh, any questions do feel free to contact either myself or any of the other authors. Thank you very much.